Have you been looking for a fifth wheel with a washer and dryer? Well, we found a few great floor plans that are able to fit a washer and dryer. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're doing some video walkthroughs of some fifth wheel RVs that can hold a washer and dryer. Hey, if you've seen our YouTube channel before, welcome back. We sure are glad to have you here. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have a Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, which we invite you to join so you can join in with other RVers and learn all about RVing as well. So let's get started with our brief reviews right now. This fifth wheel is the Sprinter Limited 3570LFT model, which stands for loft. And it's a pretty cool fifth wheel. It's got two bedrooms, one of the bedrooms has a loft over top of it, so this baby can sleep a lot of people. It also has four huge slide outs, and uh, it is a four season fifth wheel as well. So a lot of really neat things going for this particular model. When you first walk in the door, you walk right into the kitchen area. And as you can see, there's a nice big kitchen island here with tons of countertop space, a nice deep single bowl sink, really good setup plenty of uh, cabinetry and drawer space underneath and then of course you have your oven and your microwave and a good size refrigerator here as well as you wrap your way around in here you walk into the living area where we have a nice tv over top of a fireplace and then you have this sofa which folds out into a bed so two people can sleep here. One thing I like about it is you have the end tables on both sides and the end tables have a little door underneath for even more storage under there. So pretty cool setup. As you work your way around, we have two seats here and they show the optional theater seating. But if you wanted this particular fifth wheel to sleep even more people, you could just go with the standard couch, which would look just like this one and then two more people could sleep here. And then finally, you move around to, to your dinette area. Now, the standard fifth wheel comes with a dinette booth, so an extra person could sleep here, but with the four independent chair set up, you can't sleep anybody here. Hey, before we walk into the second bedroom, one thing we like in here is just the trim. It's a very rustic feel. Um, it's got these barn house doors, some of the darker trim around. Um, so it's a really nice rustic feel in here. We like that a lot. But coming into the second bedroom, it's got a bump out in here, which is where your sofa is located. This baby can pull out so two people can sleep in here as well. And then directly across from the couch, you have a really big area here for another TV that you can put in. So if the kids are in here, they can have a TV, play their video games, whatnot. You have storage all the way up and around. Uh, so they use every bit of space they possibly can. Now we just left the kitchen area. We're walking up these steps towards the front of this fifth wheel and over top of the second bedroom is a loft where two kids, maybe even three kids, if they're small, could fit up here pretty easily. So coming up the steps at just past the loft, we turn left into the bathroom. Good sized bathroom in here. I'm standing in the shower. I'm 5'11". I mean, in the skylight area, I have plenty of height. Outside of the skylight, I don't know, maybe four inches over my head. So maybe someone 6'3 could stand in here pretty easily. But it's a four foot shower. It's got a little seat, so that makes it convenient. And then uh, I love the glass shower doors that are in here as well. And then outside you have a very nice size vanity, medicine cabinet, and then more storage down below. Here we are in the master bedroom at the front of this fifth wheel. And as you can see, it's got a nice big king size bed there's a little shelf on each side where you could plug in your cell phone and recharge it overnight but this is the fourth slide out in this fifth wheel as well so it just gives you even more room in here uh, we like the fact that it's got these neat little barn doors with the hardware and that leads to a very nice size closet up front and then behind me right here 
there's additional storage, but if you wanted a washer and dryer inside your fifth wheel, this cabinet would convert and the rough ends are already here. So you could install a washer and dryer in here. So you would have that available as well. And then right in front of me here, we have a chest of drawers that are built in, nice drawer top here. And then of course, a little bit more storage over top of that as well. All right, so this fifth wheel that we're in is by Keystone RV, and it's their Cougar 368 MBI half ton fifth wheel model. It has a huge master bedroom suite up front, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes, but it also has a separate bedroom or a second bedroom right in the middle of this fifth wheel with a loft over top. One of the reasons that makes it feel so large is that this particular model has four bump outs uh, throughout. One more thing that we really like about this particular model is that it has uh, the climate protection package that come, comes with it. So it can handle temperatures from 110 degrees in the desert in the summertime, all the way down to zero degrees in the wintertime. So here we are in the living area and kitchen area, which is towards the back of this particular fifth wheel. And as you can see, it's very spacious. It has a gigantic bump out across the right hand side where you have some movie seating and your dinette area. Very nice size windows also, so you get a very light feel inside. And then at the back of the living area, this is a, a two seater sofa that converts into a queen size bed, so two people can sleep here, but a nice size bump out. We have the window shade closed, but there's a nice window back here. We were getting too much glare from the light, so we had to close the shade. Plenty of storage over top. And you'll notice that this, the cabinetry in the living area is a darker color. And then as we wrap around into the kitchen area, that the cabinetry in here is a lighter color. And these cabinets are really an, a very nice quality of cabinet. Um, I like the color. I like the glaze that's on them. It's just more of a residential style cabinet. Nice size TV and a fireplace down below as well. So your whole living area has a good view of the TV and the fireplace, which we think is really nice and important as well. In the kitchen area, it's got a nice big island, um, double bowl sink. Uh, you'll see you know, your stove, you have a real oven in here as well, microwave over top. And then it's got a side-by-side -side fridge, plenty of cabinet space for storage, good size pantry area here. I'll show you the lower one too. So plenty of room for storing things. Uh, the island itself has a lot of storage in it as well. And we like the pendant lighting and things like that. It just has a very nice feel inside of here. As we work our way back, right off of the kitchen is the second bedroom location. And in here, this couch folds out into a queen size bed. This is also another area that bumps out. So this is the third of the bump outs that we have in here, two out in the main living area. The third bump out is here in the second bedroom. And then of course, you've got plenty of cabinet space. You could even put a TV in this location or just use it as a desk. Cabinetry and storage down below, that's not very deep, but it is available. And then you have a larger wardrobe cabinet and drawers down below back here as well in the second bedroom. Okay, so as we pass the entry door, we're going up the steps and just off to the side here is a really nice loft area where two kids could easily fit up there and spend the night. As Soon as you get past the loft area, uh, you get to a very spacious bathroom set up here. You guys know I like to stand in the shower and give you some idea of headspace. I'm five feet, 11 inches tall. I've got about five inches over my head. So um, plenty of room for somebody that would be up to about six, four. Nice size shower though. It's four feet wide. I like the shower doors. Um, keeps it nice, keeps all the water in. And the bathroom itself is very spacious uh, and has a nice medicine cabinet as well. I have to open the door towards you so you can't see in it, but it's about six inches deep. And this has good size countertop space around the sink. Um, and then of course you have vanity storage and drawers as well. All right, so here we are in the owner's bedroom and the nice feature here is it's got a good size king size bed in here, which, which we really, really like. 
Now there is another option to get a queen size bed and that would allow you a little bit of a side table on each side because when you get the king, there's really no side tables or nightstands to be able to put your phone on and charge at the end of the night. But that's not the worst thing in the world. It's got a very good size closet right behind me here, shelf on top. Uh, rod down bottom, down bottom, plenty of room for, for storing your clothes and things. And then you have an additional closet here, which can serve as additional shelving, or this is where your washer and dryer hookups are. And so this cabinet converts into a washer dryer location. And for a lot of folks, especially folks that are full timing it, the washer and dryer is a key feature. And then the last thing in the bedroom is it comes with a set of like a chest of drawers that are built in. So lots and lots of sport storage there. And then right above here is where you would mount your TV in your bedroom if you like. So uh, really good size master bedroom, nice layout. You can easily get out of both sides of the bed and sort of work your way around so you don't disturb your partner if you get up in the middle of the night. And uh, so we really like this Keystone Cougar. This fifth wheel is the Forest River Sabre. 37 FLH model. It's 42 feet, two inches long, and it weighs 11,948 pounds. This particular fifth wheel has a front living room feature, which we just think is fantastic. All the fifth wheels that have this setup um, just feel much more luxurious and open and inviting to us anyway. When you're in the living room, you'll notice on this side over here, there's a slide out with a couch, and this couch also doubles as a bed. Wrapping around in here, we have the entertainment center with a really nice size TV, fireplace down below, lots of storage on either side. And then you have another couch over here, which is also in a slide out, and this becomes a bed as well. And then you have your movie theater style seating directly across from your large TV and fireplace, so you can recline and relax in style. So I walked downstairs from the living room area and now I'm in the kitchen, which is located in the center of this fifth wheel. And as you can see, it features a very large center island, has a farmhouse sink, pretty deep. Also a very nice faucet with a sprayer. Lots of storage underneath and drawer space as well. When you roll around, you have this really nice size pantry cabinet in here. And then you have a three burner cooktop oven down below, a very large drawer below that for pots and pans. And then above your cooktop, you have a nice size microwave and additional cabinet storage as well. Then we have a residential size refrigerator with a freezer down below. And then over here, additional storage and also more countertop space, which could be used for like a coffee station or something along those lines. You'll also notice in here there's a ceiling fan, pendant lighting, very, very nice setup. Rolling on around even further, we get to the dinette area, which is also its own slide out, and it's very comfortably set up with seating for four. Then you'll notice they even use the space in this corner with a cabinet from the ceiling all the way down to the floor, so lots and lots of storage. And then finally, there's a half bath located right behind the kitchen. So here I am in the master bedroom, ultra high ceilings in here, it's unbelievable. Features a king size bed, little nooks for, you know, charging your phone or whatever at night, putting a glass of water there. There's also storage overhead. The king size bed is also in its own slide out, so that even gives you more room in your bedroom. At this end of the master bedroom, you have this really nice wardrobe set up with a wardrobe cabinet on each side. And then it has a bank of drawers on each side all the way down to the floor for additional storage. Then you have this countertop space with a window above and then you would mount your TV above that so you could lay in bed and watch TV. Underneath of this countertop area is where you would find your outdoor kitchen so from outside you can enjoy some outside entertainment as well. So here we are in this very large luxurious master bathroom and you'll notice when you first walk in the door, you have an extremely large storage cabinet, which also serves as a location for your washer and dryer. Hookups are provided. There's also additional storage above that. The shower's a very nice size, glass shower doors, there's a shower seat, it's about four feet wide, so it feels very big. 
Ceiling height's not an issue in here at all. It's just super tall in here. Then we wrap around to his and hers vanities. Very nice setup. You have his and hers medicine cabinets above as well. And then behind me, there's even additional storage all along the wall. And then they have open storage here, more cabinetry down below. So you just have an endless amount of storage in this huge master bathroom. This fifth wheel is the Jayco Eagle 347 BHOK. This baby has four slide outs. It's got a huge bunkhouse in the back. Gorgeous owner's bedroom setup, tons of closet space. And best of all, it's got two bathrooms. So let's get started with our walkthrough of this particular fifth wheel. As you can see, the kitchen area is really big and spacious. It's got a center island as its focal point. Deep two bowl sink, which is really fantastic. It's also got this very, very nice pantry. The shelves are all adjustable, but there's a lot of room in here for you to store things. It's also got some counter space next to the three burner range, nice size oven down below, microwave up top, even more storage in here. And then of course, next to here, we have our residential style refrigerator, which just makes life so much more convenient. Off to my right here, we have a coffee station, drawers and storage down below. Sorry, there was a couple of speakers in there bouncing around. Storage up top here with the black glass look. I really like that look. It looks very nice. And then you have this gigantic cabinet for extra storage as well even more storage up top. I mean, it's just loaded with storage space. The whole entire kitchen is a big slide out on this side, so it helps to make this particular fifth wheel feel even larger. And we also like the pendant lighting up top as well as the ceiling fan. It's just got all of the finer appointments that you'd expect to find in a really, really nice fifth wheel. Okay, so just across from the kitchen area, there is a big three seat sofa. It's super comfortable and it also pulls out and becomes a queen size bed for two people to sleep on. Very nice and comfortable. And then we have two recliners here. It's like a recliner love seat setup. That's very, very nice and comfortable as well. And right across from that, we have our entertainment area with storage up above, a very nice size TV, and then a fireplace down below. Just past the entertainment area, there's just this corner here and they made very good use of it with this really cool corner style cabinet. All right, so here we are in the bunkhouse or the second bedroom of this fifth wheel. And there is enough room in here for four people to sleep. This sofa folds out into a bed that two people can sleep on. And then you have this bunk over top. This can just lower right down and someone can sleep up here as well. And then we have these nifty little steps that lead up to the fourth place for someone to sleep. Now, one thing they've done in here that's really cool is they put these drawers and built them right into the steps. I think that's really, really a clever use of space. Um, and it just looks really cool back here. You can also mount a TV right here so people can sit on the couch, enjoy the TV. There's some little cubby holes in here for games and stuff like that. Uh, but it's a really great bunkhouse. But the best part is that it has its own bathroom. As you can see, the bathroom is a really gorgeous powder room, very decent size. It's got a full-size medicine cabinet, vanity with nice storage space down below. There's plenty of room for a second bathroom in this fifth wheel. All right, so we just came up the steps from the kitchen and living area, and now we are in the bathroom in the hallway up here. This is a very nice size bathroom. This shower is about four feet wide. Love the shower doors that come across. And then just outside of the shower, you got this nice linen closet here. You can hold plenty of towels, sheets, all that good stuff. Of course, you have your commode. And then on the other side, you have a vanity, lots of storage space down below. Just a really, really nice, big size bathroom. All right, so here we are at the front of this fifth wheel and the bedroom just looks really, really nice. It's got a queen size bed. You'll notice on each side of the bed, there's a little nightstand. You can charge your phone or do, do whatever. A couple of night lights over top. 
just a very nice feel. This section also slides out to give you extra room in the bedroom. When you get it with the queen size bed, the one thing I really like about it is the amount of room that you have to walk around on both sides of the bed. Some fifth wheels we go in, it's a little cramped, but in this model you have plenty of room on both sides to get in and out of bed. You'll notice also uh, it has a very luxurious uh, closet with built-in shelving, very solid. I mean, that's really, really a nice setup. And then of course you have your wardrobe section and there's a built-in shoe rack or extra storage behind that as well. Next to the big wardrobe closet, we have this humongous closet that you can use to store things in, or it also serves as a washer and dryer location. There is already a rough in for your washer and dryer in here, so you're all set up. And then as we wrap around the room, you have a spot to mount your TV on the wall, and then below that, you've got a really nice built-in chest of drawers. This fifth wheel is the Forest River Sandpiper 379 FLOK floor plan. It's got a front living room, which is phenomenal. As you first walk up the steps into the front living room, you'll notice a big comfy couch here and its own slide out. This converts into a bed where two people can sleep. Then at the front of the fifth wheel, you have a TV and a televator that would rise up. You have a fireplace down below, lots of nice storage cabinetry all around. On this side of the living room, there's another comfortable couch that converts into a bed, lots of window space, and it also fits in its own slide out as well. And then behind me here, you have your movie theater seating so you can recline, watch TV, and enjoy the fireplace. Just downstairs, we'll go ahead and check out the kitchen area next. So coming down from the living room, your entry door is on the left-hand side here, and then you enter into the kitchen area. On the right-hand side here, you've got a nice coffee bar area with storage below. Some of your electronics are in here, another countertop above, even some nice cubbies up there. As we wrap around through the kitchen, you'll notice a full residential size refrigerator. And then of course, they have a four burner range, full size oven down below. And then above, you get a full-size microwave, too. This also has storage above and a big pantry closet. And these are some really nice deep drawers that slide out so you can have some extra storage there. The island itself is very nice as well. It's got a big gooseneck faucet with a sprayer. And this is a big single bowl square or rectangular sink in here. And then on this side, there's also uh, storage below with drawer space below as well. Behind me here, you have even more countertop space, storage down below, and this really pretty cabinetry above. Plenty of storage in here to go all the way around. Just across from the kitchen, we have the dinette area with these huge oversized windows. This dinette can seat four people. The uh, dinette table actually extends out a little bit and you can easily fit four chairs in here. So here I am inside the shower in the bathroom as we're making our way down the hallway from the kitchen to the master bedroom. This is a very good sized bathroom. The shower in here is about four feet wide by about two feet. Also has a shower seat, very nice glass doors. Next to me here, we have an oversized medicine cabinet, very nice sized vanity and countertop area, and then storage down below. Just next to the shower here is where you have tons of storage and also it could double as a spot for your washer and dryer because the washer and dryer rough-ins are included. So coming a little further down the hallway towards the master bedroom, you'll notice there's another entry door, which we think is a great feature. If you need to pop in here and use the bathroom, you don't have to run through the whole kitchen area of this fifth wheel. So another nice added feature. So here we are in the master bedroom and you'll notice it's got a very nice king size bed in here. The king size bed fits in its own slide out as well. So you pick up extra floor space in here and it has some storage above with reading lights underneath. I'm at the very, very back end of the trailer now and you'll notice that there are very large wardrobe closets on each side of me. There's also a bank of drawers down and then behind me here is a nice countertop space with drawers under that as well. At the foot of the bed, there's another entertainment center area where you can mount a really large TV. And then of course there's storage above and below. This fifth wheel with a front living room is the Grand Design Momentum 376 
THS model. Thank you, Susan. It weighs 15,900 pounds and it's 41 feet, one inch long. Up here in the front living room though, it's very, very luxurious feel. On this side of the living room, there's a slide out with a sofa bed. Then in the very front, you have a beautiful entertainment center, really nice looking with a televator and a TV or a uh, fireplace down below. As we swing on around, we have another pull out couch that becomes a bed with a slide out. And by the way, when both of these beds are extended, there is room in the middle to walk between them. And then you have your movie style seating right here where you can recline and lounge, watch your TV and enjoy your fireplace. Let's head on down the steps and check out the kitchen. So here we are just down the steps from the living room and we're entering into the kitchen area. You'll see that there's a lot of countertop space here, more cabinetry with cubbies and storage room. You could make this a little coffee counter setup. Drawers are underneath. Then you have a four burner range with a full size oven down below and also a full size, size microwave above. There's also plenty of uh, storage and extra cabinetry as well. In the center of the kitchen, there's a center island with a double bowl sink, really nice faucet, drawers and cabinet space down below. Then you have a uh, residential size refrigerator in here and then a really big pantry cabinet, which by the way, also would serve as your washer and dryer location. Rough ends are already included. As we swing on around the kitchen, we find more countertop space here, beautiful cabinet doors above, drawers and doors down below. And then finally, we have a dinette area for four, very comfortable, nice big windows in this area. This is another slide out, which gives us even more room in the kitchen. As we come up the steps from the kitchen area, the first room on the right hand side is the bathroom and it has two entrances, one from the hallway and then of course one from the bedroom as well. I'm in the shower, which is about four feet wide, two feet deep, plenty of headroom over my head. I'm 5'11", uh, there's probably at least eight inches over my head. Then we have an oversized medicine cabinet, very good size vanity top, cabinet space down below. So here we are in the master bedroom. Uh, there's an entrance here from the bathroom or an entrance from the hallway. TV location in the corner. Behind me here, lots and lots of very deep storage for your wardrobe. And then there are drawers down below. Then around your bed, there's even more storage area. And then right here, we have a queen size bed. Now you might be wondering why the queen size bed is so high. We'll run around out back and take a look in the storage area and you'll see why. So here we are out back of, of this fifth wheel, which is also a semi toy hauler. You don't necessarily have to have a UTV or anything like that. You could just put bikes, whatever you want in here. And this area right here is the bed that we saw inside the master bedroom. Now the bed in there can actually raise up even higher to go into storage mode. So you can fit even taller vehicles in here. It'll go up about a foot. And um, this is a very, very unique design that we think is really, really cool. Let us know which one of these fifth wheels was your favorite in the comments down below. And we hope you've enjoyed checking out all these fifth wheels. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of the boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we come out with a brand new YouTube video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.